You guys remember Remy Buxaplenny from Fairly Odd Parents? This kid. This is who I think of every single time I hear about Epic Games or Tim Sweeney doing anything at all. Over the last few years, Epic Games has been suing like every major tech company they can, all in some weird attempt to seem like the underdog. And so Epic can be seen as the company that's like standing up to the big dastardly monopolies and tech corporations, even though they themselves are a tech corporation with monopolistic ambitions. I said a while back that Tim Sweeney and Epic Games as a whole are basically basically just like trying to fine tune their public appearance so they can appeal to the people who think they understand open markets and capitalism and hate open markets and capitalism even though they themselves are like the definition of a capitalistic tech corporation but they want to appeal and get support from the people who aren't smart enough to recognize that and just want to bash capitalism and corporations which is why they'll sue Google and they'll sue Apple for like XYZ reason but then you look at the Epic Games Store and Epic Games' own business model and they do the exact things that they sue Google and Apple for doing on their own platforms. All the while, they still unironically have games in their name, Epic Games, even though they haven't made a game in almost a decade now. Like, Epic Games is one of the worst companies in this entire industry. And it'd be one thing if you were a terrible company with dog shit intentions. Because, I mean, Epic's intentions are dog shit. You look at what they do at the Epic Games Store, they absolutely intend to monopolize PC gaming. That is absolutely their end goal. And if you don't believe that at this point, I don't even think I can explain it to you anymore. I'm like, I'll try. I'll sure try. Epic Games does everything in their power to demean the competition and buy out all of the third-party publishers they can, or the third-party publishing deals that they can, to force people onto their platform, all while taking legal action against some of their competitors. They absolutely want their own monopoly. It is so obvious. And that's why it's so funny that they're so bad at it. All the while, you could be making buckets of money. You could be making buckets and buckets of money if you just, you know made games but you don't want to do that anymore i guess but i'm bringing all this up because on the morning of september 30th epic games announced that they are filing a lawsuit against google and samsung alleging that they illegally colluded to block competition and how are they blocking competition oh by having the auto blocker feature on samsung devices on by default not permanently on not totally on and unavoidable it's just that auto blocker you know a security feature is on by default on samsung devices therefore they are suing google and samsung for illegally blocking competition all of this because the epic game store sometimes gets a pop-up from the auto blocker it's not even blocked by the auto blocker there's just a pop-up from the auto blocker if you try to download the Epic Game Store on a Samsung device. That's why we're filing suit. You know, Timmy boy, if you just had good products, you wouldn't have to do this. If you were making money as a company, as a games company, as a tech company, if you were just providing good products, you wouldn't have to do any of this. But I know providing good tech products is kind of out of your wheelhouse these days for some reason. Side note, I love how we're still putting the Unreal Engine up on a pedestal in the modern gaming industry. Like, like seriously, like the Unreal Engine has so many blatant issues that will never be fixed and we're still supposed to be impressed by it. Meanwhile, Capcom's engine and id Software's engines, if we're talking about how good they are at providing good looking and well-optimized gameplay, you know, the thing a game engine is supposed to be for, keep coming back to that word game, Epic, the thing your company was based around, games. Like, I just I just can't understand why we, as a gaming industry, put the Unreal Engine up on such a pedestal when there are so many better alternatives. But anyways, let's just read through this lawsuit because Epic Games posted the entire thing on their website. And we're just gonna read through this together because it is the most hilarious and insecure thing I think I've ever read from what claims to be a major corporation. So strap in because the, if you thought Epic Games was insecure before, who boy, let's 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 read through their lawsuit that alleges a safety feature is actually illegal. 
Yes, that is actually where we're going with this. Quote, filing suit against Google and Samsung for illegally colluding to block competition and app distribution and undermining the Epic vs. Google jury verdict. Remember, this whole thing, this whole thing is predicated on the idea that Google and Samsung are actively colluding with each other. That's Epic's thesis. Google and Samsung are colluding with each other. And how, you may ask? Well, this gets real dumb. Quote, we are filing a court case against Google and Samsung over coordinated attacks to block competition and app distribution on Samsung devices with Samsung's default on auto block feature. Auto blocker is the latest in a long series of dealings in which Google and Samsung have agreed not to compete to protect Google's monopoly power. Auto blocker cements the Google Play Store as the only viable way to get apps on Samsung devices, blocking every other store from competing on a level playing field. Our litigation alleges that Samsung's recent implementation of the autoblocker feature was intentionally crafted in coordination with Google to preemptively undermine the U.S. District Court's remedy following the jury's verdict in Epic's case against Google. The jury found that Google's app store practices are illegal, including the unlawful agreements Google enters into the phone manufacturers such as Samsung. So, just so we're clear, you know when you try to download like a third party piece of software on not just on a Samsung phone on like any phone any computer you know how there's like the pop-up that says hey are you sure you want to download this or like hey this, uh, this this piece of software is from an untrusted source do you want to continue and you click yes or you click no that is what they're referring to here don't believe me they attached screenshots down at the bottom of this page they have a little section called the 21 step install flow on samsung devices I'll, I'll make this full screen so you can see so they go to the epic game store they go to the android installation thing they get the pop-up that says file might be harmful you click download anyways if it downloads it starts the app then you have to go into the chrome settings to allow permissions to the setting allow epic games to install the app but th this is this is what kills me this is what kills me so right here step 11 it says app not installed so then step 12 is you go to the settings menu step 13 you go to security privacy step 14 you go to auto blocker step 15 you turn off auto blocker step 16 you download the file again step 17 18 are the same steps as before so, do you realize how fucking stupid this is? They are filing suit because of this 21, it takes, it takes 21 steps to install the Epic Game Store on Samsung devices. It's not that, it's not the Epic, it's not that the Epic Game Store is blocked on Samsung devices, it's that it takes 21 steps to do so. But it takes them until step 14 to simply turn off the auto blocker you are filing suit against google and samsung saying their auto blocker prevents competition and they're colluding against you and in your own evidence you just showed that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about because you're saying auto blocker is a tool being used against you and not only do you show in the evidence that the tool can be completely disabled with one button press but you're so stupid that you try to frame this as a 21 step process and then it's step 14 and 15 is what what should be step one but either you are so stupid that you don't realize that or you think everyone else is so stupid that they don't realize that like i really need to hammer home how stupid this is they are filing a whole ass lawsuit and accusing google and samsung of colluding against them and undermining a court case all because the safety feature is enabled by default and can be turned off with the touch of a button. That is all the evidence you have of them colluding against you. Do you see now why I call Epic the most insecure and childish company in this entire industry? Not just gaming, in tech. If I'm coming to the defense of Google and Samsung, how fucking brain dead of a company do you have to be, Epic? tim sweeney like i can't get over this oh it's illegal collusion and the, the auto blocker being on by default that's illegal it prevents competition but like you're the one that chose to release a third party piece of software you're releasing a third party piece of software outside of google's its software ecosystem outside of google's distribution service so of course there has to be a security measure 
the security measure, which, again, by your own admission, can be bypassed with one button press. There is no collusion against you, you just don't understand how Android works, and you are filing suit because of it. Oh my god, but let's just let's just keep reading this lawsuit. It gets dumber. Believe it or not, it actually gets dumber. That's that that whole ramble I went on, that's where we're starting. And it gets dumber. Uh, quote, allowing this coordinated, illegal, anti-competitive dealing to proceed hurts developers and consumers and undermines both the jury's verdict and regulatory and legislative progress around the world. So having a security feature to prevent third-party, potentially harmful downloads on an Android phone, that is not only illegal, but it's also anti-competitive and it's coordinated between Google and Samsung. It's it's all coordinated. Everyone's against me. God, you, like, are you six? What is this? How much business could you possibly be losing on this? That's really what gets me. There's no reason to bring this lawsuit forward unless you have reason to believe that you're losing like a substantial amount of business on Samsung phones specifically because of the auto blocker being enabled by default because of course it's enabled by default. It's a security feature. Oh, but they keep going. What is auto blocker and why is it illegal? So not only is Autoblocker a coordinated attack against you specifically, Epic Games, but apparently having a security feature enabled by default in itself is illegal. Which I think is funny because in order to play Fortnite on my computer, I have to have an anti-cheat software installed, don't I? And I have to be running that anti-cheat software. And if I don't run that anti-cheat software, I can't play Fortnite. But hey, but hang on, let them let them explain, okay? Let them explain how a security feature that can be disabled on a Samsung phone is totally illegal and anti-competitive, but also a security feature in their game that cannot be disabled is actually totally fine. Uh, quote, Auto Blocker is a setting that Samsung introduced on their mobile devices in October 2023 as an opt-in feature that disables the user's ability to install apps from any sources other than the Google Play Store and the Samsung Galaxy Store. In July 2024, however, Samsung reversed course and made Auto Blocker the default setting, requiring every user to change their device settings before they could download and install any app from third-party app stores or the web. Auto Blocker defaulting to on requires an exceptionally onerous 21 one step process to download an app outside of the Google Play Store or the Samsung Galaxy Store, mirroring Google's unknown sources process with multiple steps and share screens. Reminder, this is what they call the 21 step process. This is what they call the 21 step process. In those 21 steps, they include 13 to 14 steps that are actually completely optional because if you just turned Autoblocker off as step one, it is now like a three-step process, but you're a fucking moron and don't know how phones work. So you think it's 21. I don't, I don't want to read the rest of this fucking nonsense. I'll read their conclusion though. It's on, like this whole thing is on Epic's website. They linked it on Twitter. You can read the whole thing for yourself, but I just want to skip to the bottom here because I, you got to hear this part. What Epic is asking for. We are asking the court to prohibit Samsung's and Google's anti-competitive and unfair conduct and mandate that Samsung eliminate the auto blocker by default and enable competition. So this truly is all about the fact that you don't have confidence and people's ability to click one button in their phone settings. That truly is what this whole thing is about. You don't have confidence that people can click a setting in their phone, but you do have confidence that they can find your mobile site and download it and start using an additional app on their phone. You, you have confidence in people's ability to download a third-party app and do all that all that's required to download a third-party app and set up an account on a third-party app but you don't have confidence for them to click one button in their phone settings you know I, I go back to what I said earlier maybe if your products were worth downloading and people were actually interested in them clicking one button in their phone settings wouldn't actually be that much of a hurdle for them 
But this part, this last part kills me. The jury's decision was unanimous and clear. Google's agreements with OEMs to block competition are illegal. This applies not only to Google, but to the device manufacturers that collude with them. We will take all necessary steps to ensure this decision is fully upheld. So you really are equating a security feature, a change in the way a security feature works. Autoblocker was not on by default, but as of July, whatever month you said, now it is on by default. You are genuinely arguing in a court of law that the decision to do that was specifically to collude against competition and third-party storefronts. Do I have that right? You actually are that much of a child and just can't wrap your head around the fact that maybe people aren't downloading your dog shit app as much as you want them to. Because that's really what this is about. Epic is not getting as many downloads as they want, or maybe they're not getting as, down as many downloads as they think they're owed, because if they were, they wouldn't be worried about this at all. But they are worried about this, because maybe the downloads aren't where they used to be. Maybe Fortnite mobile usage isn't where it used to be, which is understandable, because the older a game gets, usually, the less popular it gets. This is not unique to you, Epic. This is just this is just how the industry works. I know you don't understand how the industry works, because despite being a video game company, you refuse to engage with the video game industry. I just I've never I've never seen a game publisher get so upset at the at like I don't even know what you're upset about. Lower than expected downloads? lower than pre than predicted downloads and all of this after you chose to launch your own mobile store fully aware of the fact that this would require people to download a third-party app onto their phone which of course there are security measures by the operating system you know in that process you you had to have known this going in but now all of a sudden it's a problem and not only is it a problem, it's collusion between Google and Samsung against you and other companies like you. I say it again, are you six years old? Maybe people just aren't downloading your dog shit app. Have you ever considered that? God, Epic is the most insecure company on the planet. And as someone who grew up fucking loving the games that they made, it is so depressing and so frustrating to watch this. I would not be as big of a gamer as I am today if I had not gotten into Gears of War when I did. It was the first Gears of War game that really got me into like hardcore, you know, non-party games, non-sports games. Gears of War was the game that turned me on to like real, like what gaming could be. It is so frustrating watching this company fall apart at the seams because they are run by someone who is mentally five. And yes, I have degraded you from six to five, Tim. Take it personally. No one is colluding against you. People just aren't downloading your garbage as much as you think they should be. Maybe if you made the garbage less garbage, people would want to download it. Have you ever considered that? No, of course you haven't considered that because you think you're owed success for some reason. I say this honestly, truthfully, and completely genuinely. Tim, you are the worst company leader in the entire gaming industry. Get out. Toodles.